Okay, so we've got the vent valve for the emission system. Um, it's throwing the error code P0455 for a, a large blockage or leak. Um, this is the part that when you're filling up the gas tank and the pump clicks off because it says it's full, this is the solenoid that's doing that. Um, oddly enough, um, this is a 2004 Malibu with a 2.2 liter, but this is off of an 03 3 liter, the V6. It's because these are a fleet model vehicle, so sometimes even though you have an 04 or 05 Malibu, it's actually a 2003 base. So we're going to get this guy put back on the bracket and get it put back in there and hooked up to the charcoal filter. And hopefully that will cure our check engine light. That's the filler neck that comes from up there where you put the gas in goes into the tank and then these are the emissions um, vapor return goes through the charcoal filter which should be right here but we have to put back in place it just takes this one one little bolt right here and it clips over the other end of it to hold it in place so we'll get that in in like that and then we line up the hole on that side and get the bolt in. I got the bolt started in there. It's a 10 millimeter. Okay, we got it bolted it back in. Now we've got the large vapor line and the smaller vapor line. They've got kind of a funky connection on them. Taking them off, you have to squeeze it just right to get it to come off, but pushing them back on. Once it clicks, you're done. And then the bigger one, get him lined up and wiggled on. He's on, and now we've got to do our uh, other one that connects to the solenoid that goes to down here, and it bolts in right there. Okay, all plugged in. Okay, we will get the 10 millimeter socket on there and get it tightened in place. Okay, got it all tightened back up in place. Now we need to connect the hose that comes from the bottom of the, the charcoal canister. Get it pushed back on and clamped in place and we should be good to go. Okay, once you're done, you want to do what they call a touch check. Make sure that everything that you've touched is back where it should be and that it's attached, okay? So we're, we're good here, we're good here, we're good there, we're good there, we're good there, and we're good here. Okay, now it's time to take it down off the jacks and start her up. Now, because these cars are all have the welded seams for the body and you jack them up where those seams come together into the sides, you don't have room to put a jack there and then put in a jack stand to hold the car up. So right where the rear end comes together, you can see there's the two portals for the 
tow chains if it's on a wrecker to go through. You can jack it up right there and then put your jack stands underneath the seams where the jack's supposed to go. And you can get it lifted up and have jack stands out of your way so that you can get basically right where the jack is so that you can get to the solenoid and the charcoal filter. Okay, we'll start her up. See the check engine light staying on. They say it takes about a hundred miles worth of driving for the computer to figure out that the problem has gone away. And uh, we'll go go to the gas station and fill her up and see what happens. Okay, we'll see if it keeps clicking and shutting off like it used to. So when when a Malibu starts throwing these error codes, it's kind of a crapshoot. You can't tell whether it's the purge valve up on the top of the motor or if it's the solenoid down here at the gas tank or if it's the gas cap itself. So after I changed the purge valve in the front and the gas cap and it still threw the code, I knew that it was that. And then the next time that I tried to fill up gas, every time I try and fill it, it would go for about three seconds and then click off. And then go for a few seconds and then click off. So that's what told me that it was the, the uh, solenoid there on the charcoal canister. Okay, 291.4 miles and we've got 10.7 gallons. So that's a little better than 26 miles per gallon. Not the best it's been. Um, I've had it up around 28 before, not uncommon. Um, but it, these emissions, solenoids and, and that stuff, when they start going haywire, it can really drop your mileage. So that's another thing to keep in mind that, yeah, I mean, the, the purge valve is 30 something bucks and the solenoids 50 bucks and the gas caps 14 bucks, you know, you can nickel and dime your way through it, but without paying a mechanic to smoke your your fuel system, you're going to have a really hard time finding the leaks. So, which is going to cost you more, a little bit of sweat and some time at the parts store, or paying a mechanic 90 bucks an hour to go, well, I think it might be this, and we'll we'll give that a try, and if that's not it, then just bring her on back in, and we'll we'll get it straight. So, okay, 100 miles to see if the check engine light will go off on its own or I'll just disconnect the battery and reset it.